Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions. I'm going to show you a really handy feature of the LSP Cake Smash Cutie Photoshop Action Suite that you may have noticed. This is only available, this workflow feature, in full versions of Photoshop, Photoshop CS5, Photoshop CS6 and Photoshop Creative Cloud. The option to record and edit actions um, is not available in Elements, so unfortunately if you use Elements, you won't be able to use this section. So you have up the top here, before the editing starts, you have a Your Workflow section. And this means that you can record your own steps, um, perhaps certain actions that you want to use over and over again and batch over the whole gallery um, in a handy workflow. This is a little bit advanced, but I'm going to show you step by step how to do this, and it is mind blowing. Okay, so on your actions panel, you'll be over on coloured button mode if you've been using um, Watch the other videos, got everything set up, ready to go. So you need to come off button mode for a minute, so come up here to the little burger menu and choose button mode and you'll come onto grey editing mode. Here you can see the actions in grey mode and at the bottom you have some controls. So what you need to do here, onto your workflow section, first of all you need to choose workflow number one. If you want to create more workflows you could hold down alt, make sure you're holding down alt and you can drag this and create as many as you like. You may find you use the same workflow every time for your cake smashes, or you may find um, you want a different workflow for different galleries if there's certain um, elements of the gallery you find editing the same every time. The next step is to rename this. So I'm going to rename this. Um, I'm demonstrating using these beautiful images from Kristen at KRTOS in Photography. So let's call this um, Workflow Kristen. But you can choose your client's name, you could call it um, My Cake Smash Workflow. You can call it whatever you like. Just as long as um, you name it. There we go. And you'll see if you um, open up this little drop down next to the action, that it's empty. And these are all empty, so if you put the drop down, here you won't see anything inside. With other actions, if you hit the drop down, you'll see all the commands. You don't want to see that. That's really messy. So make sure if any of your actions are open, you use this little arrow just to close them down. Now the next step is going to be recording your favourite actions that you can batch over everything else. But a word of caution first. When you're recording, you play the actions out. Make sure you stop um, by hitting the stop button down here before you start brushing on, cropping, zooming, changing opacity, anything like that, make sure you stop first, otherwise those steps will be recorded too. You can always come up onto the burger menu here and uncheck the box that says allow tool recording, just to kind of protect yourself there a little bit. So let's get on with how you can set your workflow. So you need to first come down here to the record button and start recording. Now for these images, um, an example, let the workflow be instant mini magic base, so let's play that out. And remember, if you have to delete and reinstall these actions again at any point, you're going to lose your workflow. So you may want to come up here after you've finished and choose Save Actions. Make sure you're on the title, the title folder here, Case Match Cutie. Save Actions and save them with an extension of My Workflow, just in case you lose your, all your actions. Otherwise, the, you just have to re-record them again, which isn't the end of the world. If the um, action set changes, for example, if it's updated in the future, you will also need to update and change um, your workflow as well. But you can always copy these over. So I've played the action Instant Mini Base. You see it's appeared here. We're still recording. You see the red button down here. So how about um, also play the Contrast Savvy Booster? So let's hit that one and play. And you can see here it's no, play action, play action. It's playing and recording these commands. How about, um, let me think, you can play a skin retouch here. So let's do the light instant skin retouch. So that's just playing out. Accentuate face, let's do that one. Um, contrast face paint. And then how about we finish off with, of course, these actions will be completely unique to you, whichever ones you like to play. I'm just giving you an example here. I wouldn't recommend recording too many at once, so I'd just do, you know, five or six at a time. So there we go, so we, it says here, you can see it on the actions panel now, in the commands, play these actions, it's recording them. 
At this point, when you're done, it's really important you hit stop. If you don't hit stop, it's just going to carry on recording and recording and recording to the point of closing, saving, all the stuff. You don't want that. So it's really important now that you hit stop. And now you can go ahead and close this. I'm just going to delete these so I'll show you how it works. Back over onto button mode. Let's pull this in nice and neat. And now you have it here, my Cake Smash workflow. So you can simply play this one and it's going to play out all those actions. And here they are. And you can simply come along and brush any on that need brushing on. For example, we've got um, the light retouch. I wouldn't recommend playing too many at once because some of the actions rely on you um, already having painted them on. So I'd just do them in small sections. If you've got a heavy edit, if it's a light edit like this one, um, then you can just pop them all in there, start to finish. Let's brighten the face up, add some contrast. And if at any point you want to record a secondary workflow, you can, you can duplicate, you can record as many workflows as you like, or maybe this is just your quick start workflow, you can rename it that. But make sure you come off button mode, and then you can double click here to rename any of these. So I'm going to show you how you can batch these. So with your images open, I recommend batching over similar images here. You come up here to File, Automate, Batch. Make sure the set is Cake Smash Cutie, and the action is um, your workflow. So the one we've just recorded my Cake Smash workflow for Kristen. The source needs to be opened files. If it's a folder, you don't want that. You want this to be on the opened files, so it goes over all the images you have open. And hit OK. And what this is going to do now is play that workflow over every single image you have open. Depending on how many actions you've got, it may take a minute or two to play out, but just think of the time saving. This also means you can edit consistently too, um, because you can just go bum, 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 swipe your way across, brush on what's needed, hit save, and you're done. Batching workflows is an even faster way to edit using Photoshop actions. But just remember, if you have to delete and reinstall the set again, um, your workflows will vanish, so do save them if you can. Um, and if the LSP Cake Smash set gets an update with a name change, it's not going to be able to find these anymore, so you're going to want to re-record, but I mean, it's super quick to do that. So now look, every single image has these same actions batched over the top. So you can simply go in, paint, edit and save, and they're already done for you. It saves you replaying and replaying and replaying. Um, it also keeps you consistent because if you're not editing all at once and you're going to come back tomorrow and carry on editing, you can play this workflow and you know the editing steps will be the same, even if the light in your office has changed a little bit, even if um, you're in a different mood, you know this edit is going to be the same. So that's how to use the Your Workflow section on the LSP Cakes Match Cutie Photoshop set. If you don't own this set, you can go ahead and grab it at www.lsp-actions.com. You can also check the blog where there is a free mini workflow action set that you can get and use across all other Photoshop actions if you want to. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.